Hello, this is Michael Sulock, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to load a data set into R. And specifically, we're going to look at how to load one of the most common types of data sets, a comma separated value file, a .csv file. The first thing you need is the file. I went on this website and found a data set I thought looked interesting about the Olympics and downloaded that and saved it on my computer in a folder I called statistics. And the name of it is olympics.csv. In order to read this into R, there is a function in base R, meaning no additional libraries are required, called read.csv. And the easiest way to use this function is just to type in the name of my data set. And I would like to save this as an object so I can use it in R. Maybe I'll call it Olympics. But when I run this, I get an error message. R says it cannot open the file. It doesn't exist, which can be frustrating because you know it does exist. It's right here. But what's happening is that R is looking for that file in some place called the working directory. And there's a function in R called git wd that will show me what my current working directory is, which is not my statistics directory. It's the one that's located one higher from that. So at this point, I could take my data set and move it to my working directory, or I could change my working directory. I'm going to do option number two there. So before I change my working directory, I'm going to save my little bit of code here in the same folder as my data set. I'm going to call it Olympics script. So now that I have both of those files in the same folder, all I need to do is go to the session menu option, go to set working directory. And if I choose this to source file location, well, the source file is the R script, which is in the same folder as my data set. So when I change my working directory to the source file location, you'll notice that R just ran a command for me. It ran set WD for set working directory. And it had this argument. If I run git working directory, I can see that the result of that is that now my working directory is my statistics folder. And so when I run my line of code here, I don't get an error message, which is always a good thing. And if I look in the environment, I can see that under data, I have something called Olympics, which consists of 156 observations of 17 variables. I can click on that arrow to get a description of what that data set looks like. And now I'm able to access these variables within this data set within R. But you'll notice if I save my script and I quit R, and you generally don't want to save your workspace image. You want R to start fresh every time you run it. If I rerun R, if I try to run the same line of code I ran earlier, I'm back to getting that error message. And what happens is if I check my working directory, it's back to being what it was before. If you want to use this technique of having the working directory be wherever your R script is, you have to run that every time you open R. There is a way to permanently change that working directory location. And to do that, you can go to Tools, to Global Options, and here we have the default working directory. And so I could do browse, find my statistics folder, choose that, click OK. And now if I quit R and restart it, and if I run my git working directory command, I can see that it's now been changed to statistics. 
which means that I can run this line of code and it'll load up my data set without any errors. So there are different ways to tell R how to find a file. You could add on directory information before the file name. That's going to look slightly different depending on whether you're running a Mac or a PC. So one of the easiest ways, especially when you're just starting to use R, is to be sure that your data set is located within your working directory and that way you can load that data set into R by just typing in the name of the data set in quotations. You'll notice that if I don't have quotation marks here, this is a fairly common mistake in R and I run this, it'll say object olympics.csv not found. When you put a word into R without quotation marks, R is always going to expect that is referring to an object's name. So I want to be sure I use quotations there. So that's a very basic introduction to loading in a CSV file into R and the idea of your working directory. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much.